Hi, welcome to Art Chat TV Quick Clips. I'm your host, Linda Riesenberg Fissler. I'm an artist and a writer, and I'm glad you guys are tuning into this. Before I get started painting on this clay gristmill and the other quick clip that will come with it, I wanted to basically talk about critiquing your own work. One of the things I want to stress right away is never hurry and rush through your work to the point where you can't walk away from it and actually stand back and start critiquing it, okay? Um, so I do this over several days, mainly because I'm so tired when I get done painting that I'm not sure you know, what's wrong and what's right. And then I start throwing paint at it. And then we have all these mistakes that we have to fix. And this has very few mistakes that I'm gonna worry about and fix. Um, I, at this point, am not paying any attention to the reference photo. If I have it up on my computer screen, it is up basically just for a reference of a particular color that I might be looking for. But I am done looking at my reference. I was actually done looking at my reference after I got done with the black and white or what I call the Ansel Adams stage of the painting. Um, so not real happy with this. Too much going on. It really pulls the eye. And while it may be the star of the painting, I don't want everybody just sitting here looking at it. So first question, what's the star of your painting? It naturally is in this focal area here. Um, so it is going to be the star. And since it's the star, I don't like the way it looks right now. It's pretty dry. Um, but one of the things you can do, and it'll be really kind of cool, is um, kind of take the paint that is wet and smear it. This little mill house has some windows in it. That'll make a nice window area, so I probably won't touch that. I'll just straighten up some of the edges. This has gotten too warm, okay? I don't mind this as a reflection, but I need to darken that down a little bit. I know from me being there, being at different mills, um, some of these areas are um, weathered a lot. So I may uh, come back in with the darker color and just let this color be the weathered area of the board. And um, the same with over here. This is a very weathered area that's picking up from the colors that are around it. And again, light bounces everywhere. Um, this, I, you know, I may just glaze with a blue to bring it down a little bit, but it's not really bothering me. It looks nice and I could probably tie in those colors to make it look even better. So that's my first area. The first question, what is your star? This is my star area. This is where I'm gonna actually pay a lot of attention. This is too gray. It's causing too much of a, an eye catching thing. So I'll probably come back and glaze this with a blue and I'll probably glaze these rocks with the blue just to bring them down a value. Um, and of course it's gotta be very dry to do that and it's still very tacky. So we're not going to touch with that until it is dry. Okay, I like how this back area doesn't have a lot of structure to it. Very soft edges, it allows the eye to move through. It's got all these wonderful colors. And what I'll probably end up doing is just making um, some smaller shapes inside of here. And then as it comes closer to you, the rhododendrons will take over and I will have a couple shaped bushes in here and maybe even some ground grasses. The same with this area around the mill. I'll bring this over a little bit. I don't like how this looks. So I'll bring this over a little bit to push that back into the painting because it needs to be pushed back. It's not that big um, in, of an area that needs that much of attention. I need to throw some of these colors down here into the lake part. Are you kind of crooked? I need to throw some of the colors here down here into the lake area or the creek area. That'll happen too. I'll throw some colors up here as well. All in all, this is, you know, a painting that I, I like where it's going. So I'm going to keep it and I'm going to, you know, a lot of the stuff I'm going to keep, but I'm just going to make some adjustments on where some things are and where. Um, the values are. So never be in a position where you don't want to self-critique your work. 
Uh, critiquing your work is essential. It, it's how you improve your eye. So always step back and look. As far as I'm concerned, this little area here where all the stilts are that hold up the trough where the water comes through. You know, I don't care if people see that or not. We know it's there. We know something's holding it up. So, you know, I make it kind of, uh, you know, something that something bright that catches the eye and brings it over to the wheel. I'll touch up the wheel a little bit with some some light on it as well. Um, but for the most part, um, we're just going to play very loosely with with soft edges in here, except for one particular edge that I want them to follow and climb up the steps to the house so that they end up walking through there. So self critiquing your work is very, very important. And always remember, don't do it at the end of your session. Wait a day, wait a few hours, come back up, look at it, start making mental notes of what you need to fix, what you like, what you don't like. So that's the Art Chat TV quick clip for the day. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. We're getting close to 1,000 subscribers. We'd love to have you guys subscribe to it so you don't miss the next quick clip. Thanks. Bye, everyone. Bye.